something came to my mind when I was going to get something to eat. Actually, a particular person came to my mind and some more thoughts came in my mind as well. What I don't understand, when you hear the truth, why do you go, this is for everyone, or some people, no, everyone that does this. When you hear the truth, why do you go out and speak to sinners or people who sin more than you, asking them if what you heard is true. Even when you know that it is true, you go out and ask other sinners, it would be smart to ask a man or woman of God that actually serves God, but you go to other sinners asking them if what you heard is the truth. Man, if you are smoking marijuana and your friend is smoking marijuana, then you find out that smoking marijuana is bad why would you ask a person that is doing it? Hey, do you think smoking marijuana is bad? No. <laughs> Conflict of interest. When you find out where the light is, why would you ask a person issues that pertains to light when they are in darkness. If they are in darkness, why are you coming to them to find the light? It makes no sense. I know that this is wrong, but let me ask another person that is in sin to see if I am thinking correctly. You are in darkness, your friends are in darkness, but you are asking advice from a person that is in darkness. It would make a lot more sense to come to a person who actually serves God. If God made the whole world, and everything is based upon his principles. Why are you going to go outside his principles? If a person, let's say that you have the opportunity to meet a person that made your car. This person knows how to fix your car and he knows exactly how it works because why? because he made it. Why would you go to a person who absolutely is brain dead, asking that person how your car works? It makes no sense. Go to the person who made your car. Man, I pray that this makes sense. So let's go to Psalm 1 and 1. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. This is the reason why I tell people Stay away from people who sin. I don't care if they have been your friend for 40 years or whatever else. There 
is a reason why God does not want us to be around sinners. Now, if you are teaching them about the Bible, that is one thing. But don't go around entertaining yourself with sinners. Because those demons that they have on them is going to be transitioned to you. You are either going to pull them to God or they are either going to pull you to demons. I am not easily influenced, Kevin. When I see stuff like that, I don't even bother to answer it because <laughs> I just say whatever. Everyone is easily influenced, whether you think so or not. In some way or another, you are being influenced by something. Stay away from sinners or don't entertain yourself <clears throat> with sinful people. Don't do it. Only minister to them. Okay. Nor standeth in the way of sinners. Don't go where sinners go. Of course, you have to go to work, and if you go to church, there are going to be sinners there. But don't go to bars. Don't go to clubs. Don't go somewhere where there are going to be drinking and fornicating, cursing, and stuff like that. Try to stay away from those places. Nor sit if in the seat of the scornful. I believe they are speaking about mockers. Who don't do what evil people do. So what this is pretty much saying, you pretty much, as much as possible, live separate from sinners. This is your issue because you are being influenced. What if, let me say this, man. What if you was on this world or in this world alone? The way that you are now, would you be that way? If you are honest with yourself, you are going to say no. So, so that proves my point there. You are influenced. You are influenced to be the way that you are, whether it is for the good or for the bad. <sighs> My Lord. So stop. My main point is stop getting advice, especially spiritual advice, from people who are in sin. It makes no sense. What is the point of me asking a sinner, hey, is anything wrong with having sex before marriage? I would not be surprised if that person told me no. Why? Because that person is a sinner. Make sense? Don't try to find light from somewhere that is darkness. God bless.